Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you might be watching. You'll notice in this table here that I have check boxes, tick boxes, etc. And to be able to do that, I had to be able to see in the toolbar the developer tab. If you don't see the developer tab and it doesn't appear by default <coughs> when Word is first loaded, then the easiest way is to right click on the quick access toolbar, customize the ribbon and make sure that there is a tick in developer and click OK. Now, you'll notice that the flashing, in sim flashing insertion point is in my table in this particular cell. The checkbox will be inserted anywhere in the document that the flashing insertion point appears. In my case, I want to put a checkbox in this cell in the table. So all I need to do is to go up to the controls group and one click on the checkbox and there it is. And I could do the same with the other cells if I wish. I can also copy and paste the checkboxes should I wish to do so by selecting a checkbox, control C and then drag through the cells where you want the checkboxes to appear and they will be pasted where your selection is. I'll show you how to do that later. Now you'll notice that when I click away and now click in a box that the X appears. So as I go down here I can simply click in the boxes and there are my symbols. I'm going to remove these symbols by simply clicking on the box and it removes the symbol. Now this one when I click on it and I need now to go to design mode and choose the properties of that particular box and when I click on properties I can see down here the checkbox properties that I can change the symbol. When I go to the wingdings symbols at the bottom of the wingdings I see that there I can put a tick in the box instead of the X. So I'll tick on that, click OK and click OK again. Now when I click away and turn off design mode I can now use that box by clicking on it. If I wish to remove the symbol so there's just an empty box, just click next to it and it removes the symbol. Click away again. This one, I'm going to go to the properties and I'm going to change the checked symbol to a tick. So at the bottom of the wingdings I see the tick. This time a tick with no box surrounding it. When I click OK and OK again, click away and there I see my tick. If I don't want the tick, then I click right next to it and it removes the symbol. And similarly for the last one, when I click next to it and then go to properties, I'll change that to just across. My recently used symbol show me that because I've used these symbols previously. So that's the only one I want. I don't want it in a box. Click OK. OK again. And now when I click in it, I simply see the cross. So it's really quite simple once you follow a few rules. <clears throat> Remember, if you want to change any properties, you need to be in design mode because I can't change anything unless I'm in design mode to be able to do any editing. So there we go. A little bit of practice makes perfect, of course. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the area below and uh, you'll soon get the hang of it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We love likes and comments, uh, should you feel you wish to do so. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.